What does the Bible say about selfishness? Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all new videos. Selfishness is that attitude of being concerned with one's own interest above the interest of others. However, the Bible commands us to do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of the mind regarding others as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Philippians 2, 3-4 It's interesting to note that in this passage, Paul compares selfishness to empty conceit, a term that could be translated vanity or arrogance. It refers to an overly high opinion of oneself. Selfishness, then, is akin to narcissism. Selfishness or empty conceit is often expressed by building up someone while tearing someone else down. It is one of the works of the flesh, according to Galatians 5 and 20. It leads to disorder and every evil practice, according to James 3 and 16. Selfishness caused the children of Israel to willfully put God to the test by demanding the food that they craved, Psalm 78 and 18. Selfishness caused the rich young ruler in Matthew 19, 21 through 22 to turn his back on Jesus. Selfishness ruins friendships, according to Proverbs 18 and 1, and hinders prayers, according to James 4 and 3, and is a product of earthly wisdom, as pointed out in James 3, 13 through 14. The opposite of selfishness is also found in Philippians 2, 1 through 2, which states, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ and compassion, and if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, being like-minded, having the same love, being in one spirit and purpose. Combating the sin of selfish ambition requires genuine humility. Unpretentious humility restores and grows relationships. Being humble involves having a true perspective about ourselves in relation to God. Do not think of yourselves more highly than you are, but rather think of yourselves with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you, Romans 12 and 3. Prayer and a love for scripture are necessary as well. Turn my heart towards your statues and not towards selfish gain, Psalms 119 and 36. Love covers a multitude of sins, including selfishness. If we are truly devoted to one another in brotherly love, as stated in Romans 12 and 10, then we cannot be selfish. Having the attitude of Christ is to demonstrate tenderness and compassion for those we come in contact with. Another sure cure for selfishness is to know where our treasure is. A Christian holds the things of this world loosely because he is lining up treasures in heaven, Matthew 6, 19-21. He knows that it is more blessed to give than to receive, Acts 20 and 35, and he lives according to the truth that God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9 and 7.